Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes, and Mini Me, aka Daniel Sun. It is Friday morning, and I love Friday mornings. You love Fridays? Yeah, they're awesome. And I have a surprise for you today. Want to take a guess what it is? Should I play the Jeopardy music? Do, 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 do. Today, hopefully, you know, we plan and God laughs, but hopefully today, we are going to go to Roslyn on Northern Boulevard, and we are going to see, well, you're going to see your brand new Sprinter. Yes. And I'm going to sign for it, because that's what I do. Exciting. Yeah. And next week, it's going to be... It's going to have its racks and bins installed. Like, what is the purpose of that, by the way? And next week, Monday, the racks and bins and the ladder rack is going to be installed. Tuesday and Wednesday, the wrap is going to be installed. And when the wrap is done, you are going to take Mike's truck over there and drop his off. And then you're going to take the new one back home to here. All right, and you'll be with Mike for a couple of days, and we'll see. Be good stuff. All right, Friday. Stay tuned. We got great, amazing content scheduled for today. None but air conditioning. You're gonna love it. Time, timer flash seven times. ETU system. You ain't testing. You're guessing. All right, we're on our way to our first service call of the day. Customer has a leak in the basement and thinks it's coming from the air conditioning system. This job is in Laurelton, which is part of Queens. And once we cross over Hook Creek, we'll be in Queens. So stay tuned. Hopefully I'll get some good footage and see what's going on. And we'll make another client happy. Good morning. Good morning. You have a leak in the basement? Yeah. Follow you? Okay. I think the last time his filter was changed. So we were here. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Just wait on. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I woke you. No, no, you're good. You're good. All right. Yeah. How are you? All right. I'm here for a leak in the basement. Ah, okay. Hold on, give me one second. All right, no problem. Okay. You know what that is? Dryer vent. Is that a dryer? Does the dryer vent into this? Or... Mm-hmm. That's weird. Yeah. And there's a little thing in there. I've seen where they, if the hose with a discharge vent goes into like a little um bucket with water. <laughs> Can I get that look again in your face again? <laughs> See, so you put this in, you listen, you know, they make saddle valves, they're not to code, <laughs> right? But let's see, since we're waiting on him, let's see if we can find the equipment, which is... I always run into antiques all the time, by the way. Let's turn the light on. Right. Got some, it's a lot of water here. Yeah. He thinks it's, uh... Oh, what's going on? Um... Yeah. filter and, and has that been cleaned? Has it been checked? Uh, the air conditioning filter? Hmm. Okay. This thing is in pretty pretty bad shape. Let's start with the filter. There's not one here. It's got to be upstairs. It looks like a very large uh, grill. 
Have you got a ceiling on a wall? Oh, like, oh. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I think it's right here. I think we should probably get the, uh, the little tool bag. Yeah. yeah, let's start with that. That is pretty bad. You could kill your system like that. And that may be the reason why all that water is downstairs too. Oh. All right, we'll get the tools and we'll take that out. And... Oh, the filter. Yeah, the filter. You know, change those every 30 days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn. All right, Daniel. Let's, uh... Get the flat screwdriver and take this out and see what we got. What's that? What you mean? Mike. Oh, yes. That's your filter, by the way. That gets changed every 30 days. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is your... <laughs> Let's see this. Wow. Wow, this is like a Picasso. What you think, Daniel? It's like a Picasso? Mm -hmm. That thing is that thing's epic. Wow. Yeah. All right. So. First things first, let's clear off a little room here so we can work on this. Push that that away. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. Let's move the skill saw over. Now, this looks like something. That looks like some kind of insulation, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. So now we have water on the floor. We have a pump here. All right, and let's see. Oh, it must have been made. Oh, look at that. 10, 20, 17. Drain line cleared, and we did a CO test. Yeah, see if you can undo that union. You got two hands. One-handed Mike's trying to strike again. You may have to get a channel lock from the big, the big one. What happens? Listen. See? Yeah. I want you to be careful because there's going to be an electric box right there. Yeah. You have an outlet there for the pump. So we know the pump works. Pretty creative transition here, right? On top of the furnace. Yeah. <laughs> Let's grab uh, a couple CO2 cartridges. And. Oh, yeah. And grab a pen too, uh, Daniel, so we can update the, the uh, service tag. Now, he may be thinking that it could be in too far. It's not, you see? I'm going to take that out of the pump. Just like that, see? So she was clogged up. we got to treat this pump with those tablets too. Pretty bad. Mm hmm? Good, we know that's clean. I generally, when I push the trigger on the Galagon, I use it continuously until it's, you know, I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Send another one through or? I would send another one through. And then we're going to put the, uh, the new Calgon pan treatment, the condensate pan treatment tablets in there. Mm -hmm. And the pump, and we'll get it in there. Excellent. 
Make sure we have a good pitch on that. Good. She's draining. We put some water in there with the cup from that bathroom. Good. Good stuff. Now we should check the outdoor unit. Let's see what's going on inside this unit. All right. Just not too bad. Let's look in the blower. Turn the power switch off. Let's see. How's, how's she looking there? Any damage to the control board? It's nope. pretty good. It's dusty. Yeah. A lot of water there. Let's see. Can we see the uh, the blower, the condition of the blower? It looks pretty good. Yeah? It's not all like dirty or anything. Oh, okay. A little bit, but not that bad. All right, because a lot of dirt on there will... You know, affect performance, and, um, oh, Daniel, look. Oh, Leaky Daniel. Danny, Daniel leaks. Daniel leaks a lot. I think we're good. Okay. All right. Let's put the covers back on, and we'll check out the outdoor unit. <laughs> Who would have thought you'd see this? Nice deck, right? Very nice deck. Do, 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 do. Relax, it's a good man. It's a good man. She's a good man. Let's see how this <laughs> coil looks. Let me get some light. You know what? Not so bad, considering. Oh, someone asked in a, a, a co in a comment, I think a day or two, was like, how come we don't see any disconnects with the levers on the side of them instead? Because you only see that generally in commercial applications. We don't really see it like that. All right. Let's see if we can find a hose and hose her down. All right, so I treated the, uh, we blew up the drain line. I treated the pump that sits in the floor and the internal pan with these tablets. It helps keep everything clean. Okay. Uh, alternatively, you're gonna end up replacing the pump in the next like week or two, because there's a lot of debris in that pump, and that pump is old, it's sitting on the floor. But she still works. Uh, you know, why, don't spend your money unless you have to. You gotta get yourself new filters as soon as possible. Okay. Right? That's important to change it on a monthly basis. Very important, you know, for heating and for air conditioning. Fortunately, the blower and the wheel of the blower was kind of clean, so again, you save, you bought yourself some more time with that. Uh, and the outdoor condensing unit, you know, we should probably service that in the spring, you know, uh, but again, a very tight spot there. You, know, you have the deck on one side, the fence on the other, the house on the other, and there's, I didn't see a hose faucet out there either. We need, hot, we need water to uh, clean those up. Any questions? Um, yes. it'll, it'll pro it would be to your benefit if you had like the ducts clean because they're not clean. You know, but there, they, there are companies that ex exclusively do duct cleaning. Gotcha. You know, but this filter, listen, you, you got to get yourself, you know, get yourself a case of filters and every 30 days you got to change it. All right, you got it. All right. All right. Um, any, anything else? Any questions? Oh, and in, in the spring, you got to, you got to really do some maintenance on that outdoor unit. If it, okay. All right. Springtime, maintenance outdoor unit. Okay. What'd you think of that uh, service call? They don't take care of Obviously, they don't take care of things. That's why they call us. And I'll probably be back there another four years. <laughs> Crazy. I'm surprised the pen was clean. Yeah, right? Yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. Let me, guys, let me get your thoughts and feedback on what you guys would do uh, at this service call. Would you have went, done more um, or done less? Obviously, you can't do anything less than what we do. But, but there's one thing that I want to stress. I believe in, clean, in cleanliness, right? We didn't wear any gloves in there. 
and I have plenty of gloves, as you know. I'm just getting, getting to have it wearing gloves. The other Mike doesn't like to wear gloves. Okay. And you see his hands are always filthy. Don't you want to have your nice hand clean? Don't you want to have clean hands? You go home, you go to your girlfriend, and she sees your hands like, yeah, get, get, get those fingers away from me. You know what I mean? Like, like get your fingers away from your nasty fingers. I see my hands. As a tool? I yeah. know, you should take care of your tools. You know? Yeah. But I have plenty of gloves. You should begin to have it wearing gloves. They don't cost you anything, they cost me something. But you know what, your hands are clean. Yeah. Guess what, you come, up, you come up to the next job, you're gonna shake someone's hand or whatever. At least your hands are clean. You know? Turn clean right. hands. And then, at the roundabout. Cleanliness is holiness, exit. no? Something like that? One thing we used to have to do with my other it's company was uh, test clog. Take the Slow second exit. Oh, stupid phone. Used the what? To test if it was clogged, we would have to blow it with our mouths before we used the CO2. Uh, <laughs> so I got, I got Godzilla blowing on a white pipe once, by the way. I got him. <laughs> I got Godzilla. He blew on that white pipe. <laughs> Because you can't, let's say you're in a pinch, right? Yeah. And there's a union there, you crack the union. A, you can really blow it out with your mouth and it's clear. Yeah. You know, you can do it, it works. You know, and then you charge a mouth fee. I, I blew out a trap. I had all the caps open, I'm stupid. I blew it out, it went straight in my eye. And a few days after that, that's when I got sick. Ah. So I'm wondering if that was related. Maybe, maybe. You know, make sure if you're gonna blow on something, make sure it's clean. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna have fun today. Real quick, make sure you thumbs up this video. Saint Mike commands thee to thumbs up this video. Someone commented um, yesterday. Hey, Mikey Pipes, I haven't heard you yell in like four or five days. I'm like, you know what? You're right. Because there's no nothing to yell at you about. Because you do everything the right way. So far, that's right. Don't worry, I don't. I don't yell that often, <laughs> unless you're Kelvin. <laughs> Kelvin. Um, make sure you thumbs up the video. If you haven't done so already, check us out on Discord and on WhatsApp. I'm very active on both. More so on the WhatsApp thing because it goes right to my phone, and we post pictures and we talk and we bullshit all day long. It's nice. It's good. It's good to have you know a community, extended community besides YouTube. Very nice. And make sure you subscribe, support the channel, support Mikey Pipes. And if you're going to buy on Amazon, there's a link down in the description box down below. Bookmark it. Next time you buy something on Amazon, Mikey Pipes makes a small referral commission. It's small, small. It's like small meat and potatoes, you know, small. But it's nice, you know. A few cents here, a few cents there, they add up. Trust me, they add up. All right, be well. God bless. Stay safe.